As you know, in February 2012, we set a target which we thought was very appropriate at the time for the 31st of March uh, 2013 at 826.4 billion rands. In February this year, we brought that target down to 810 billion uh, rands. And what I'm very happy to announce on uh, behalf of SARS is that by midnight on the 31st of March, when all of you were having fun and sitting at a beach somewhere, uh, they were busy counting uh, their pennies, so to speak, and they've achieved uh, 4 billion rands above the latest target of 810 billion rands that was set. So SARS collected 814 billion rands in the 2012-13 uh, fiscal years. Now, whilst this is an excellent number, uh, when you're expecting 810 and get 814, uh, one has to be very pleased with that. When one does a reality check and compares it to the 826 billion that we thought we would originally get, then it humbles us to say that the 814 is still 12 billion rounds below the original 826 that we thought we would actually collect. If we compare ourselves uh, currently to the situation before the financial crisis uh, uh, came to our shores, at that time, our tax GDP ratio was 27.6%. At that time, we had a fiscal surplus of about 1.5%. And today, uh, by comparison, our tax GDP ratio is 25.4%. So you can see that there's still some catching up to do. Mining has made uh, quite a negative impact, and our current estimate is that uh, possibly some 11 billion rands has been lost in revenue as a result of uh, the kind of disruptions in production and the disruptions more generally that we have seen within the mining sector. And it's quite important that the mining sector, everyone concerned in the mining sector, recognizes that this kind of negative impact in terms of contribution to corporate income tax, in terms of uh, contribution to our exports and mining products contribute 50% uh, by value of the exports that we send out from South Africa, uh, is a negativity that we can actually do without.